In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MyGodic bonding interface. So first, what is bonding? Why, why need it? Actually, bonding is uh, one kind of interface bundle. You can use it for a uh, multiple combined interface bandwidth. You can use it for active backup purpose. Or uh, any LCP you need to create for my MyGodic router to switch interface. First, in my network scenario, I am using my two mycotic router point to point connectivity to show you how to use bonding interface. And this is my router one, and this is my router two. I am connected my two interface Ether four and Ether five point to point link using a Ethernet connectivity. First, I am changing my interface name Ether four bonding one. Want to see? Okay. Fine. Bonding two. Change it my router one, and I am going to router two. Therefore, bonding one. Ether five under space. Bonding two. Sorry, this is my router one, and I'm going to interface bonding. Add In general. You can see uh, this is a name which will be used for bonding. Name bonding one. I'm changing it, and mm, the name is bonding. interface you can change it as per your need and new interface new bonding interface whose name is name bonding interface and I'm now going to bonding tab and you can see the slaves in slaves you will set your desired interface my interface is Ether 4 and Ether 5. You can click and add main interface. So, first slab Ether 4 bonding 1 and second Ether 5 bonding 2 interface. And uh, first, I am going to show you balance error. You can select a link monitoring which is MII non or ARP. I can leave it as, de as default and I am selecting the bonding mode balance other. Apply OK. Getting my bonding interface for router 1 and I am going to router 2 interface bonding add change the name bonding interface bonding interface ether4 add ether5 bonding2 and mode balance error I'll leave it as default apply ok You can see my bonding interface is running now I will see the bandwidth passing on this bonding interface I'm adding a point to point IP on this bonding interface it is 10.10.10.1 slash 30 this is for my router one and I am selecting my bonding interface for router one it is 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and copy like ok and then now I am going to my router 2 and inserting IP IP address remove it paste 
morning interface apply okay this is for router 2 2 apply okay and if i am to check my bandwidth and now i am router 2 and i am on connect to router 1 Mandatory test tool, which is you, you can use your uh, mycotic to mycotic mandatory test. I have a video on this uh, mandatory test server. You can uh, see it and uh, know how to use this mandatory test server. And I'm selecting both 10.10.1. .10 this is I'm connecting my router one. Start. And you can see this is my bonding interface and uh, traffic is passing through this is my bonding interface and uh, if I am go to my router Ethernet interface and this is on my bonding interface Ether 4 and Ether 5 you can see the up and down bandwidth uh, this means uh, TX and RX is running those two bandwidth two interface in same way I am going to my router one and you can see the bonding interface and it is running and this is my router one ether 4 and ether 5 interface and you can see the bandwidth is showing and I am stop it and I am going to my another mode which is active backup mode I am changing it on my router 2 apply ok and now I am going to on my router 1 bonding mode active backup now let's see what will happen this time again I am testing my bandwidth on bonding interface Let's start you can see my interface bonding interface the bandwidth is running and at this time yeah you can see therefore this is my active interface and uh, ether5 this is my backup interface if my interface ether 4 is goes down bam disable it you can see the traffic transfer to the ether 5 now this backup interface is my active interface and uh, again i am enable it this active interface is now in active interface and previous active interface now in backup interface this is uh, this is the mode of active backup mode and stopping it another mode is h 2.380 which is needful for your router to switch because uh, this mode is IEEE standard uh, you can use it for your uh, router to switch and in the switch configuration you can use the LACB configuration so uh, it, it will be uh, when it is your bonding interface mode configuration is 802.3 and when and the other side cable is connected to your ethernet switch uh, you can configure those ports on a recipe mode because uh, this one mode is only for IEEE standard and you can use it for your mycotic to any manageable switch and others uh, in others modes is uh, only you can use uh, for router to router connectivity this is for bonding configuration 
Thank you, Adi Adi.